In this video I want to talk about my experiments with combining different filament types largely inspired by one of my followers, Steve McCulloch, who was wondering if I could uh, make a variable flex, a very flex beam, i.e. a beam with variable flexibility starting with 100% um, rigid filament of some sort and ending up with 100% uh, flexible but varying the uh, percentages throughout the, the beam. So going through my filaments, one of the flexibles I've got is Polymaker Polyflex TPU95 um, and that has a very similar temperature profile to PLA. Um, Polymaker recommend using 200 to 220. So I thought I could um, make this uh, first beam with starting with 100% PLA and ending up with 100% um, TPU95. So um, I designed a, a, a tower, if you like, 30mm um, by 15mm. And then I've got a little um, Python script that I wrote some time ago that allows me to change the mixing ratio every n layers. Um, so using a, um, a layer height of 0.3mm, if I change the mixing ratio every six layers, that's every 1.8 mil, which means that the tower needed to be 180 mil tall. Actually, 181.8, because the last change, I need then six layers further on from that. So that's what I did. Um, so basically, to start with, it's 100% PLA. At 1.8 mil, it's 99% PLA, 1% TPU. At 3.6 mil, it's 98% PLA, 2% TPU, etc. Until we end up 180 mil is 100% TPU. So initially, I sliced it using um, my default infill, which is 60%. So here is the result of that. Um, but it's got um, well, first off, it ain't very flexible, even at 100% TPU. Can sort of, it's a bit squidgy, but it's not what you call flexible. Uh, but what more of a concern is, you can probably see there are some distinct bands. In fact, it actually break breaks there. So distinct weak points um, where these bands show, um, and that's yeah, very weak because it, it broke completely. So at the end of the print. Uh, I noticed that the reel of PLA had come off its roller, so it looked it, it must have been pulled to, to, to pull it off the roller. Um, so I kind of wondered if that was a badly. I didn't stand and watch the print, so I'm not. I didn't know what was happening. Um, so at that point, I thought maybe it was a badly wound reel of filament that was getting tangled up, and um, and so that would cause under extrusion at certain points. Seen a reasonable idea anyway. Made sure it was rotating freely, put it back on its rollers, sliced apart again using 10% infill to make it more flexible. And printed another one, which is this one. Boom, broke already. So as you can see, I've still got these bands. I've got a lot of bands of weak points. Um, it's just breaking in various places. Um, it's still not very flexible. I can squidge it, it's quite squidgy, but not what I would call flexible. I can't flex it too much because it's just going to break where those weak points are. Um, those bands aren't in the same position as the previous one, so there's something weird going on there. So I thought perhaps I got a problem with my Z axis, maybe it wasn't moving smoothly, although. It appeared to be, so I thought I'll print something without the colour change, without the um, sorry material change, and just do it out of solid PLA, and see if I've got any um, weak points with that. Um, the first thing, that was the first attempt. Um, the first thing of note is that I've been using 220 degrees C, and that was obviously too hot for the PLA that I was using reason I chose 220 was because I had attempted to print a temperature tower with TPU 
and I was wondering if there's any way that you could do bridges with TPU. You can't, basically. <laughs> um, but the temperature tower um, also broke a few places. When up to about 215 degrees C, so I seem to have better layer adhesion at, from 220 upwards, so that's why I picked on 220. Having said that, this was printed with the full part cooling fan to see if I could get it to bridge at all. Um, so it was 220 with the part cooling fan on. That's why I originally chose 220. So that was clearly too hot with PLA, so I dropped it to 200 degrees and redesigned the part so it's like that, very thin. So it's 3 mil by 30, something like that. Um, and it's fine, there's no, there's no um, signs of any, no weak points in it. So I knew my Z-axis was, was fine, that was the reason. So it had to be basically the, the mixing of the two filaments that's causing the problem. So I printed that same part, in this one, but varying between 100% PLA and 100% TPU and um, got that but again weak points where it just breaks there's another break there and there are, I won't flex it too much it is variable flex so that quite worked but um, there are all sorts of little lines and I don't really see if I flex it where it's liable it's going to break again so conclusion for that was that um, it doesn't work basically Bend, blending TPU 95 with, with um, PLA um, you just get these these points it's just too weak um, layer adhesion is just not good so then I was wondering what else could I do um, and in theory I thought well would TPU stick better to something else, say like ABS? Um, but the problem of course is ABS needs a temperature of about 260, I've found to be best with my machine and ABS that I've got. Um, and the TPU needs to be 210-ish. So 260 would be too hot for the TPU and 210 would be too cold for the ABS. But what if I started with ABS, 100% ABS at 260, but then as I uh, added more and more TPU to that mix, I also dropped the temperature. So start at 100% ABS at 260 degrees C and end with 100% TPU at 210 would that work so that would be 50 50 different temperature changes so if I change the temperature every 3.6 mil that would that would do the job so at 3.6 mil in height then I'd have 98% ABS and 2% uh, TPU at a temperature of 259 at 7.2 mil I'd have 96% APS 4% uh, TPU at 258 etc so I tried that <laughs> and um, that's what I got <laughs> um, I walked away and then when I came back it was doing that so I just aborted the print so yeah, it doesn't work either. All of which leads me to wondering, is it actually worth even trying to do multi-material prints? Uh, I don't mean just with this hot end, I mean with anything, whether that be a tool changer or a multi-material unit or, or what. Basically, I, I mean, Polypropylene won't stick to anything much apart from itself. TPU seems to be the same. Maybe there are some combinations that will stick together 
um, but so far I haven't found one. So what's the point? You know, one could make something with soluble support that doesn't need to stick. Other than that, what's the point in uh, multi-material capability if parts won't stick together with the different filaments? What's the use case? I, you know, maybe I, I had thought maybe so you could make something that have got two rigid plates or a, a box and a lid joined together with something like polypropylene to make a hinge would be a use case but you can't do that because the polypropylene won't stick to anything else so is it is it worth bothering with um as i say whether that's a hotting like mine or a tool changer or an i'll be interested to know what you think um has anybody had success in printing multiple different materials on the same part um i'm kind of thinking what's the point um they're not going to stick together you might as well print the parts separately and, and glue them so that's where i am at the moment i'm really thinking of just making a uh, a fairly simple um say four input hot end with a single melt a uh, single temperature zone single heater um that would be something like a diamond uh for doing multiple colors of the same filament I still think that a single nozzle is the way to go. So I could do multiple colours and also having multiple parallel melt chambers is also, in my opinion, the best way to get a high melt rate for doing high flow with big nozzles and stuff. So I'm thinking of making something like a, a simple, a reasonably simple four in one out hot end liquid cooled for printing multicolour prints of the same filament and or doing um, high volumetric melt rate um, prints using big nozzles and a second hot end that's just a single input maybe direct drive for printing everything else that's kind of where I'm going at the moment interested to know what anybody else thinks whether you know whether you've had success with multiple materials um, are there any other combinations I can try before I abandon this altogether? Um, let me know down in the down in the comments. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.